What is this ESB org? What are they doing? I'm sorry for Sumail. Amar did not murder Miracle and... Uh, let's check a quick a quick credit check, boys, and then uh, we go on with the... Uh, what's going on? I like our quick credit checks, guys. We can't get rid of these, because otherwise it's too grindy. We also gotta see what's going on before people ask me, like... What the fuck do you think about this? Final positions of NADPC are perfectly ordered, with every team beating the teams below them and losing to those above. TSM number one, yeah, TSM beat Shopify. Nouns, wildcard, five rat, four staff, dandy stack, B8, damn, they're sixth place. Well, not bad, I guess, you know? They couldn't even qualify to Div 2 CIS, and sixth place in NADPC. <laughs> Pepe laugh. <laughs> that is pretty funny, but still. I'm happy for dandy at least, you know? So that's good at least, you know? That's good. That's good. That's nice. Uh, my Dota 2 experience. Okay. One guy's blind. One guy's a kid getting hit by a slipper. One guy's AFK. Nice. Best interview ever. Nick talked to Betboom, the winners of Eastern EU. English translation. Holy shit, this is long, man. This is really long. Okay, I can't read all of this, guys. I'm surprised he thought of this. How was the ro form this roster? When, by whom, who called pure? Damn, these are good questions. I need to learn how to interview people, guys. If I do more like post game interviews, I never prepare any questions and I feel like it's always a little bit awkward. I have like two, three questions and then I'm out of questions, right? I feel like this next guy prepared like 10 questions or some shit. I need, I need some more, more questions prepared actually. Not a bad idea. Gift TLDR, maybe there is in the bottom. Let's see. No. Or is not. Just ask them about Ligma. Yeah, should I? That's a good one. ESB administration making unfair changes last minute for SADPC. Please help with visibility. 1000 upload 15 hours ago. I'll see what this is. Hello, Dota community. I'm Mariano. Some might recognize me as Papita. Now, Infinite's coach coming over ASAP. Announce happen tomorrow. Oh my god, I need a too long didn't read. Alright, ESP Adventures has announced there will be tiebreakers tomorrow in the SADPC for 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th spot due to the tie that happened. However, the rules say that there will only be tiebreakers for 1st and 2nd. If there's tie between 2nd and 3rd, which is not the case. It's a completely different ruling tie from happened in the SADPC. Uh, which said you will not play matches and will decide by which team won against the others. Most of our players are not even at the bootcamp anymore and players from other teams too. So this change of ruling is just Valve because they, Valve told them they could do it. It's unacceptable. Oh, they're milking them for content, huh? Damn. <laughs> Shit. Please help with visibility and hope this doesn't get changed to Valve. Unfair. Thanks, Mariano. To, send, to have sent all our teams rulebook before DPC and not a single team was expecting tiebreakers. To clarify in the rulebook, they said there will only be tiebreakers for first, second, and third. Or the motion to Div 2. That is a normal way, guys. That is the normal way. I'm posting this because admin gives us an answer like, if you want, you can just not play in them forfeit, knowing that they announced this with less than a day of notice. <laughs> yeah. EG manager and alliance manager and Viokid manager are trying to make them understand what they did, but they get no answers from them. Huh. We had the same issue with them at start DPC because they wanted to force us to play all games online with one day notice, same as now. Even the teams that are in Brazil would have to travel and play for Play them from third to fourth series until everyone complained. Who the fuck? What is this ESB org? What are they doing? Yes, ESB Dota Two. Who are these guys? ESB? What the fuck is this? Electronics? What? What is this? Hmm. What the fuck is this? It's just a Spanish ESL kind of thing. Going? Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure at all. <laughs> They're trying to milk him hard though, I guess. Electronics. No website? Yeah, I just get a Facebook fucking post. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Seems kind of weird, dog. Any time breaker rules in the final DPC to milk the games from our ad revenue is incredibly scummy. It is, actually. The EG vs Beast Coast game had 120,000 viewers. Holy shit. That's crazy. That is crazy. 
Yeah, that's a weird one. I don't know what to say about that. It's it, or no tournament organizer should be able to change rules one day before unless unless guys, it is for the benefit of the players. I mean, so, so to say, like you make them do less. If you gotta do way more, you can never change the rules. It's just not possible. I would say you can change the rules if you've if someone is broken them or something Coffee. like that. Loses thanks to nine months. If you find out somebody cheated or something like that, then yeah, maybe something needs to be done. But it doesn't work like this. I'm sorry for Sumail. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe it. <laughs> Last time I asked you said Magda MG Bloodseeker with X Blood's uh... turn is too slow. Could it be better with Shardio? Boosts spell life steal and farming speed, or still too slow? I think it's still too slow, Eagle. I think it's still too slow. Oh my, I can't believe it. Literally another Reddit thread flaming Amar with 900 upvotes. Circling the damage done between him and Amar. Come on, guys. I mean, come on. I know you guys like blaming but jeez, what is the... What is this? What are these Reddit threads? The, I feel like these these are the kind of Reddit threads that only should be deleted. I'm not even kidding. Amar for a little bit of flame, but man, they're piling onto Amar a lot. Like, this, this thread is just gonna be hate thread, you know? Like, what is the point of it? It's so weird, dude. Alright, let's go to the comments. I mean, I don't just get why they're drafting Sven so much. Doesn't seem like not so great hero. Because Amar can't literally play anything outside of a tiny puddle of heroes. True, uh, Amar does have a hero pool. Uh, I mean, guys. It's the only 10th uh, anniversary uh, I can never be happy I need to, about. Need to underline this Sandwich. one more time so so people. I know you guys are cool, but like, so if anybody on Reddit hears this that upvoted this shit, it's like. Who cares if not, first of all, who fucking cares if 90k damage done in a lost game? He might have been sitting behind everybody and slide of fisted and watched his team die. Who cares? But, uh, Amar did not murder Miracle and take his spot, okay? He got invited to the team. Stop blaming him for his hero pool. They invited him knowing exactly what his hero pool was. Stop fucking blaming him, he's just stupid. You're attacking the person. Attack attack the entire org for inviting him then. Yeah, I don't know what you say, you know? God damn it, they're stupid, dude. Jesus, man. Jesus. It, it, it's not a fucking uh, pure playing like Naga and shit. Yeah, he's playing other heroes, you know? <laughs> no one else wanted to play for fucking Nygma. They've been in Div 2 the entire fucking last year. What do you want? <laughs> what do you fucking want? Like, it's not like they can invite anybody who they want. They're literally a barely a Dibon team. I love them, but please, guys. Like, stop expecting them to, like, fucking be able to invite anybody they want or whatever. Amar is good. But yeah, either way. <clears throat> I want to say something. Uh, also. Uh, Alright. Uh, fucking, yeah, I don't know. Weirdly targeted, but yeah. Let's see what else we got. Hey, what the fuck are these random ass hate threads, man? I feel for him, dog. I feel for him. The next game of Slark was even a worse emo. At this point, Nigma should be thankful they were not relegated and ASAP starts searching for a real carry. There's absolutely no place in 2023 competitive Dota if a hero consists of three heroes and you're incapable of playing illusion heroes. Uh, either way, if you can't micro illusions, you shouldn't play as a carry for a pro team. What else we got? They beat Secret with this anyway, right? I don't know. Imagine your form round didn't bring a single damage item, out damage the carry with Satanic Daedal's BKB Echo Saber. Okay, I do think it's a kind of a 1k MMR take in general to think damage equals impact because it really doesn't, it really doesn't, you know. Damage is kind of for fun stat. It really does not, nothing to do with impact. It could just be a game where you have, you, you as a carry have to farm for 50 minutes because you're facing certain heroes, right? And then you have one jump. If that jump doesn't work out, then it's GG. That might be because your five ruined your lane, it might be because offlane fed the carry or mid fed, anything could have happened, right? For, to make it like that. But just like, damage done is like, ugh, who cares? I'm sure he made misplays, but damage done is like the worst argument, dude. For, for, for real. Alright, what else we got? Uh, to be fair, Sven has no poke chip damage. All his damage can commit to a real fight. While Ember is insanely poke damage, despite that, the damage gap is comically huge. Sumail stuck in ELO hell forever. Can all agree that they're all satisfied punks? 
Uh, GHL there more than a market. I feel bad for Samael, who's so so good. Samael is very good. All right, either way. Sorry, I'm I'm just like it's like the guys just for context, it's like the fourth Reddit Amar hate thread. That's why I'm like, Jesus, when am I with end, dude? Poor guy. <laughs> he's gonna fucking he's gonna fucking uh, get sad, guys. He's like 17, and they I don't know. I feel like people are just stupid. They don't even know why they're upvoting things. You know, like they they like to blame anything. Just one one thing is a fact, guys. Last season, uh, Nigma had miracle, right? Last season they had, literally had miracle. They won way less than they did this season. Way less. They got relegated to Div 2. Now they're Div 1. So, if you're just looking at the literal facts of it, they are doing better. So, I don't know. LeBron James has 50 months. <clears throat> he's targeted because he's so BM kind of expected. That's true though. That's true. I understand why he's being targeted because of the BM thing. But yeah. Whoa, uh... that was a sun strike, huh? That was a sun strike. Interesting. It fucking landed. Oh no fucking way.